Greetings and welcome to SmartWatchTix.com. We've got a box with a new watch in here from Lockmat. I'm going to take the cover off and show it to you. This is different than basically any that we've seen before. It's called the Sky GT. And yeah, it's got a 1.43 inch AMOLED screen with high resolution, but it's got two, maybe three features that are really unique. This is one of the first non-Android smartwatches we've had that will accept a SIM card for direct phone calling. It does not do Bluetooth calling, and it is not an Android watch. So that makes it really, really unique. I'll tell you the other features in a moment. Once I let you know, it's coming to us from Banggood. Thanks, guys, for sending this one out. The Sky GT 4G SIM card calling watch. There's another hint. GPS built into the watch. Yeah. We're looking at about $75 on this one. It's in flash sale. When it's out of flash sale, if you're watching this and the price has gone higher, check in the show notes for a coupon. Hopefully get you back down to that rate. In terms of everything in it, the Sky GT uses Bluetooth 5.0 for connection to the GaoFit app that it uses for tethering. You've got um, compatibility with Android and iOS. And check this out. This is what's really interesting. We don't usually get excited about 16 megabits of RAM. That's like nothing. But look, the ROM, which is the storage, uh, is 4 gigabytes on this one, meaning you could probably store a hefty amount of songs on it to be used as a remote uh, music player. When you tie it to the app, supposedly you get that file transfer capability to move things onto the watch. Here's our supported frequencies for um, SIM calling. It has to be on the GSM network. All these watches are. Will it work? We'll let you know. I'm just unboxing it, so I really don't uh, don't know. But I do have a T-Mobile SIM that I'll pop in it here in the USA, and we'll find out. You got a GPS built into it with a low noise amplifier supporting all the features around the world. All these different app languages are included in support. Again, they're really hyping. It's an AMOLED LCD. I never heard of that. I don't think that's possible. AMOLED LED, right? Um, wow, okay. Anyway, 466 uh, pixel square, supposedly, but it is a round watch. Sensors are here. Gosh, one of you guys got to explain that to me if it's possible to have an LCD AMOLED. Battery capacity, hefty, 400 milliamp hour, giving you a nice long week and a half standby time and uh, hour and a half charging time. Life waterproof IP67. They got away from that for a while and went with the honest uh, specs, but this is back to splash proof. Basically, I wouldn't call it really waterproof. You don't want to go swimming with it. It wouldn't support that. You get these different features. We'll see those. Here's an interesting thing in health, guys. Heart rate, sleep, and step counting. That's it. No blood oxygen, blood pressure, ECG, breath uh, rate uh, computations or other health biometrics. So it's a little light in the health area. All you're basically going to get is your heart rate on this one. The different uh, types of settings in here, the app notifications are on it, mobile phone assistance and so forth. Um, it's uh, multi-sports for all these different activities. And supposedly, the ones that count, like walking, running, cycling, will have tie-in with GPS so that you'll have your track and a more accurate uh, distance measurement as well. It's basic characteristics of it. It's a 22 millimeter strap on it. Okay, we've taken it out of the box this far. I'm going to take off the little cover on it and show you it's a really nice, attractive watch. you got a speaker over here, a microphone, a round button. It does click. We'll see if it actually activates and works the screen. Lock mat on a pill size style button and thin and it takes a SIM. So where do we put the SIM in? There's the charging port. We should look for that, right? That's inside the box. Well, we'll get there. I just wanted to show you that the SIM slot on this one, <laughs> I actually had to look at the manual for this, is hidden right there. It's underneath the strap. So we pop this out, put in a GSM SIM uh, card, and 
it'll hopefully light up to make phone calls. Now, inside the box that comes packed in here, there's a few things. There's manual. There's the connector. Now, this is a four-pin connector, and we're familiar with Android uh, watches that four pins allows you to transfer data to the storage inside the watch. So it's possible, and I'll let you guys know. I'm glad you watched these reviews. Whether or not we can actually just connect this to a computer and it'll mount as a thumb drive and you can transfer music or files. If you go to work and you got some files you got to take home and work on and you don't have your thumb drive, you probably could just transfer them here, go home, transfer them off to your home computer, whatever you need to do. If it works, okay, we'll find that out. And removable bands, of course. They're a strong uh, TPU type band. Very interesting design, I presume, to allow sweat and such to roll off your arm when you have it on. Uh, lock mat on the buckle and everything. The manual. I knew you wanted to see the manual. You always tell me that right when I'm done. Uh, it's like English and several other languages. Very basic. You got your definitions of everything that's in the watch, the charging cable that comes with it. There's um, information again on the GSM networks and such and a layout of all of the features on the watch. Basic information on the modes. Pretty much the stuff we already looked at till you get into the operation. Here is the Gaofit app QR code, which you could scan and download, but I highly recommend you go straight to uh, Google Play or use the link in the show notes to get access and download it that way. You don't want to try to sideload it, so to speak. Uh, make sure you're picking it up through the Google Play Store, especially this day and age when so much new malware and Trojan horses and other things are showing up in some of this stuff. Okay, alternate languages are here. Now we're ready to play. Oh, 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 yes, the card that was sitting on the side. It's an important one. It's the SIM card operating tips. Hopefully that'll help some of us out, including me. And then you've got a smart watch battery saving method description as well. I guess that was important enough to make a completely separate card for it, so now you've seen it. So I'm going to press the side lower button here, give it a couple of seconds, waiting for it to power up. There you go, I got a vibration, I felt that, and the lock mat screen uh, is lighting up on it, and then we're into an opening smart uh, watch face and immediately tells you to uh, restart this thing after you put a SIM card in it. So it definitely wants you to run this with the SIM, which we're going to give it a try in a minute. Hello? Okay. But for right now, I want to run through just basic operation of the watch with you. When we uh, swipe down exactly right, you get a do not disturb. You get an overall brightness level, which is, it's AMOLED, guys. It is super bright. That's actually a nice yellow, kind of a mustard yellow, but it's completely washed out on the camera because it's so bright. All the way down, nice and soft, really good for nighttime use as well. So we're going to run it at about right there. This is your uh, telephone dialing pad, of course, because it's mainly for uh, making calls different ways of displaying your apps here. We're going to go with the text style and then your overall settings. Here's where we can replace the dials. You saw that first one. We've got a few. Um, this is kind of the classic one that they uh, ship with this one. and uh, It's animated. It's got some activity going on. Very fast timeout. It's set for right now, right out of the box. Power level, no SIM card, date and time. Back into settings. You've got this tab setting, so you can uh, move these up and down. These are the cards or tabs or things that you, when you scroll across, I believe. You can take them off, you can rearrange them, and you can add other ones. There is a QR connect, as I guess you could put on here as well. So we're going to leave that and come back here after we go through them. Here's our step count uh, information for the day. Um, calories, no, no, no calories or any of that, but you have times that you've stood up and um, looks like times you've done some uh, workouts, one of 12 or zero of 30. Anyway, different interesting way of presenting that data. This is the heart rate, and again, it's using green diodes, and it's just uh, 
Oh, there you go. There's the heart rate up to when I put this away and started the review. So it does continuous heart rate for you. And, of course, instantaneous heart rate. Last night's sleep time was not this. I actually had nine plus hours in sleep, um, but it was interrupted with some times that I was awake. It missed all of those, and it only uh, credited me for the last one. So it's not really a, an inclusive sleep uh, monitoring thing. Uh, this is connect the phone to update for getting the weather um, forecast. Here's the onboard music player. And then you've got the app list here of uh, most recent apps, I guess. And we're back here. And you can get those directly by scrolling that way as well. Up gives you, as usual, notifications sent from your phone. And that pretty much covers everything. The top button gets you into your apps. A double tap, nothing. And a long tap, nothing. So that's all it does. And if you're someplace else, tapping it brings you right back again. The bottom button, tapping turns it off. Tapping turns it on. Long hold gives you the uh, shutdown restart. Or you can call the SOS uh, number as long as you have a SIM uh, installed in the watch. And double tapping doesn't do anything on this one. just toggles it off and on. Let me take you back into settings. We just got started. Here's your volume adjust, and we're going to run it at full volume. You hear a little bit of a beep sound right there. Ring tones, you can change. Try a bunch of those. Wow. Oh, okay. There's one. Oh, good. You get to hear the speaker. Nice and loud. It's at a nice frequency that works well for loudness out of a smartwatch, so that's good to see they've thought that through. I'm going to leave it on tone 8, and we'll just play with that. Your overall brightness adjusts we looked at. Your screen off. Ah, there it is. Thank goodness. It was set for 5 seconds, guys. I'm going to go up to 60 seconds. What I don't see is an always-on uh, feature in this watch, but you can have it as long as 60 seconds it looks like when you're using the watch. You can set your date and time in here. Um, doesn't look like a time zone um, toggling, or a uh, 24, 12 or 24 hour toggling though. Screen locker, press that, it'll lock the screen. You gotta push your button to open it up. This is your gesture, your twist your wrist to see the time. And you can set it for a different, you know, time of day that you want that. At night, if you don't want it to happen, you can of course turn it off. Then you got your language switch. These are the different supported languages in this one. Not too many. Surprised by that. Then you got, uh, I don't know, a Volte switch. On or off? Let's turn it on. It's on. I don't know. I don't know. SD auto mount. Okay. Let's turn that on. That's your SD card, I guess, when you put it in. Uh, no, I, I don't know, but it's on. <laughs> you can restart and reset. Shut down. System upgrade if you have anything waiting. This is the current version of the software. I've checked that. And then about the watch will give you basic information, including your IMEI number for your SIM and all that kind of stuff, too. So that's uh, pretty much everything on the watch. This does walk you through the different watch faces when you twirl it. That's good to see. Um, so we've covered pretty much everything here. I'm going to put the SIM card in it and play with uh, loading up some music and tell you how that works. Well, some good news and not so good news. I took a SIM out of a phone, uh, 5G, T-Mobile, put it in here. It's not in here now. Um, it registered, gave me 4G, and showed signal bars on here. However, when I attempted to make a phone call, it would start the call, it would place the call, but it would not go through, and it wouldn't ring. And there was no volume of it ringing in uh, the watch either. When I made a call from another phone to that phone number, it went right to, uh, to voicemail saying it wasn't available, as if it was turned off, and on here it didn't uh, make any, any attempt at ringing the watch whatsoever. However... And we go to the app drawer over here. When I went into uh, messages, 
and I sent a text message over. Oh, shucks, it's already been cleared out. All right, I had a text message that I sent from the phone to this phone number. It lists the phone number that called from, and it lists the text. So it will receive text messages to the phone number on the SIM that's in here. Of course, there's no keyboard or method to text out. So as far as using a SIM, no phone calls in or out, no texting out, but you can receive text. So if you're an adventurer, you're going to go out, you're going to carry this watch with you, you have a separate SIM in there, and you're okay in using it just to receive SIM messages from those that need to keep in contact with you, this could work. But if you need to reply to somebody, you're not going to be able to do it. That's my experience so far with the GSM T-Mobile in the USA. Your... Uh, may, <laughs> your effects may be different. Uh, if any of you get it working, if you get this one and you uh, you do get calling on a SIM, please let us know what country you're in and what carrier you're using. Thank you. Now, we'll go through all the apps that are on this. Your call records, dialing pad, telephone messages, all have to do with the calling. Your overall settings we looked at. You saw heart rate. And uh, sport is just basically your step count information. Last night's sleep time is there. Now, the new area is exercise. We saw all of those what are available for you. And then there's your uh, actual exercise results. And I did do a GPS walk around and got uh, some basic exercise results. Okay, so outdoor walk. Basic information of here, exercise uh, time, calories burned, top speed, average speeds in here. Your step count information is provided. A heart rate curve is given to you, and it tells you what time you spent in each of these different zones during that workout. Overall pace curve. It's pretty robust in the data that you're getting. Um, effective training, aerobic, anaerobic and your average level of maximum intake. I think that's your oxygen, and that's everything there. So that comes from your various exercise records, and of course you get a little bit of that in the app as well. Then you got your uh, activity, which again is the uh, walking stuff. Well, what the heck was sport? Hmm. History. Step count over time. Okay. That's a little different, but the same as activity. You've got a calendar built into this one. Simple little thing. You can't put appointments on it or anything. Then you get the music player. Now here's the gig on the music player. You put the wire on here. You plug it in a Mac. You plug it in a PC. It mounts. It works. It works as a thumb drive. And you can play music, except it doesn't play. You have to select it first. Took me a while to figure this one out. you got to come down here. Now, I got some sample music that I got shipped from other watches that I transferred over. You can go into your overall settings, and of course, you can set it up to play them sequentially, shuffle, repeat. You don't have a search function with four gigabytes of storage. You might want to search for songs. Um, that's a lot of them, but you don't have that capability in this simple music player. When you go into all songs, they're listed here. I guess you go this way. Refresh. Anyway, it looks through, and I guess you're seeing the first few of them. Now, once you've selected the all songs and you come back to the player, no. Okay, music play. I'll get it right one of these days. You go into all songs and you touch one of them. There you go. Now it starts playing that song. And, of course, we got the volume up full, and it's nice and loud in here. And you can scoot forward to different ones. come back in here all songs but again I'm not being able to scroll through or change them so you basically just get started on a song and then you go through it this way it may be uh, something you can work out uh, on your own when you play with it to get a little bit better uh, handle on how the music works but that's what I see so far, and I'm showing you what's, you know, in the basic review. You got a basic stopwatch in here as well, and you leave it, 
and you talk about it a little bit and we come back into it and look at that it's still running which is great it's nice to see when a stopwatch will run in the background you can pause it um, you can play it you can get lap times with it in here and you can leave it and it'll still be playing that's a nice feature basic calculator decent sized digits end results okay although that should have a decimal point anyway um, alarm clocks, timers, you got a basic flashlight, makes it really bright. Yeah, AMOLED screen on this one, so yeah, good good brightness. Overall breath, inhale, exhale type of uh, exercise. Weather in your area. I'm not getting it to, to sync up. I connected to the app, I connected to the phone, it's on the internet. We tried it with the SIM, of course, that was for phone calling only and didn't work. And so far, I have not been able to get anything uh, working on weather with this one. Too bad. Sitting reminder, you can activate all of this for different uh, time. And look at this, you can set it for intervals in steps uh, and minutes and uh, so forth. Turn it on and off right from the app. You've got uh, a little built-in recorder in here. This is a quick test of how the recorder works and whether it's loud to hear. We'll stop that. Actually, I just put it in pause. I can hit the check mark. That stops it. And uh, we can play that back. This is a quick test of how the recorder works and whether it's loud to hear. And it is. Wow. It sounds just like me. I like that. Nice and loud. That's one of the loudest built-in recorders I've ever heard on a watch. Great. The QR for connecting, um, I believe. Yes, this is the QR for the GalFit app. There's another QR code I'm going to talk about that I'm still confused about. You can search uh, for the phone and find it. This is your remote camera button. This is the other one. It's called Remote Music. You come in here now, and in their descriptor, they've got this thing on it. It says online cloud music let music accompany you anytime anywhere it's a built-in 4g card music storage space we know that that you can put your tunes on but this talks about online cloud music at uh lock map um sky i want to say shy it looks like an h sky gt now i don't know when i go into remote music then i hit play Oh, wow. That's my phone over there playing the news. Wow. All right. I guess it works as a remote music player like you typically find on Bluetooth tethered watches. Ah, has nothing to do with uh, online cloud music. I don't know what that is, guys. If you figure it out, let us all know. Because when you put music on a watch from your computer or your phone, it ain't on a cloud, right? It's on your watch. But this talks about online cloud music. So that's remote music. Then you got a game. You know, the 2048 game is in here. And more apps where they threw in a shooting game. Menu, start. Oh, it's got to boot up and load up and do all kinds of things. Uh -huh. Haven't looked at this yet. Wow. We're not used to being patient for things to start. All right. Play with it when you want to. Oh, look at this. I can't even bail out of it. Wow. Exit. Okay. <laughs> and then a water reminder, which was similar to the sedentary reminder. I don't know why they put it here and... I guess uh, afterthought, they're going to load up some apps in this more apps section uh, in the future if they want to. And that's the very last thing that you see on here. So I think we've pretty much covered it all. Let's take a look at the app. So this watch pairs to the GalFit app. This is what the icon looks like. Here it is in the Google Play Store. Once you've installed it, set up an account, and paired it with your watch, you will land on the health tab, and this is basically what it looks like. We're running the Lockmat Sky GT watch, a little picture of it, and it doesn't have a lot. Uh, it just has these few cards. You've got heart rate showing you your heart rate, continuous heart rate up to the minute, and uh, over the 24 hour period against the scale. When you touch it, you're not getting the actual information and I'm not able to go any deeper, 
Uh, but it can give you an alarm if you uh, hit an upper limit if you want to. And this is where you can start remotely monitoring the heart rate from the app. So if you're going to be on a treadmill or something, you want to put this up and watch your heart rate as you're working out. You can do that. The watch doesn't even light up. Uh, it just sits there, but it can be um, remotely checking what your heart rate looks like for uh, that session. Some detailed uh, information on your range and your comprehensive score, a fatigue degree, and an excitement index. No, no idea how they calculate those, but there's the numbers. To 100 looks like zero, and I guess low is better in a calm state if that's what you're trying to accomplish. Anyway, that's everything in heart rate. Step count is basic. It's showing you your steps per hour. I mentioned I was up off and on all night long uh, and walked a few steps. So you see some steps at midnight, maybe three, four in the morning and so forth. Um, was kind of a restless night, but nine hours or so in bed. But again, this only caught three hours and 10 minutes of it, but enough to show you what the charts look like. You get awake, light and deep, no rim uh, tracking on this one. Deep is down here, uh, awake is up there, and the zone is from 342 to 652. That's when I got up, but there was a lot of sleep before that. Anyway, um, basic breakdown as well, sleep duration, and so forth. So some basic statistics for sleep. We looked at steps, calories and distance tie into steps, so you get a similar type of a bar chart related to your calories and your distance uh, in kilometers that you've moved, um, all three combined. No exercise per se, sporting activities, that all comes over here. Weight is something you put in manually. Um, that will tell you um, basically where you are, and you enter that as your weight is changing to track it if you want to. And that is everything here. Come back to sporting, and... Uh, this is where I presume your results will show up if you do a sporting activity with the watch. Health we looked at. Dial. These are the different dials that you can install. There's just a few. Sadly, uh, it's not a huge collection. All of them that are in hot show up here and here as well. And I'll just show them to you because it doesn't take too long to go through it. They're colorful backgrounds with digital clocks couple of them uh, have uh, analog clocks on them as well, but they're pretty much, that's it. This is one of the more fancy ones that actually has some more data on it. Most of them just have date and time. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to see more watch faces, dials uh, available. And maybe there will be because all this is pushed from a server. Help tells you about uh, connecting the app using Bluetooth. And we'll just walk through that in case you're having any kind of difficulty. That gives you some background on that. This takes you off to the website where you have the app connecting guide uh, actually up on the web itself. And that's popped you, I think, into a browser for all of that. Then the mine is where you can come in and basically find your device or unbind it from the app. You can go into a, a silence mode or, uh, for pushing notifications or set all your notices here. That's the twist your wrist to see the time we saw on the watch and it's set with a schedule. And then your targets, auto measurement of heart rate can happen uh, as low as five minutes. Actually, you can turn it off if you want to or go up to as high as 60 minutes. I generally leave it on the lowest sequence possible, five minutes here. These are your contacts that you put in from your phone to your watch uh, to allow you to um, make phone calls, right? Or, or have your contacts on the watch. Feedback, visiting a form, clearing cash, and about us. That, that's, that's it for the app. So let's summarize. We're looking at the Lockmat Sky GT uh, music player, a phone calling smartwatch that actually uses a SIM card, not Bluetooth calling, and um, could not get the Bluetooth to work for calls, but got incoming text working on this one. Um, it's got 
four gigabytes of storage space for holding music files, and it does have an onboard music player that you can play those. It also seems to have that player integrated with your workout routines. I checked that out earlier, and uh, yeah, you can go back and forth, and you can play that music that's on your watch while you're working out, so that's a handy feature as well. Rotating novel, change the faces and such. It's got the basic apps in it. It's really lean on um, your health metrics. It only does heart rate. There's no blood oxygen or any of the other stuff that you typically see. But maybe that's all you need is your heart rate. Um, could be a kid's watch. Could be an adventurer's watch. It's got a really nice design and an AMOLED screen. So if it fits the niche that you're interested in, you might take a look at it. Um, you can pick it up directly from Banggood. Banggood's got it in flash sale right now. It's almost over, so it'll be jumping up a bit in price, but check the show notes uh, below the video here, and we'll try to get you a coupon to decrease that price down to this or lower if possible. Uh, all in all, an interesting watch. It comes in a white uh, configuration or the black one like this, and yeah, one of the few watches that actually has a SIM card uh, capability and the fact it's 4G, uh, it just might work in your area. So let us know if it does, okay? Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again soon.